Murphy's End Episode 7 October 20th The Debate Team Good morning, North Murphy. Hi. It is Tuesday, October 20th, and here are your morning announcements. To the unidentified student who has been feeding these stray pets that have been congregating outside of the school, please stop, okay? There, there's just so very many of them now, and... <sighs> okay, okay, no. You know what? No. Bonnie... Bonnie, hun, we know it's you. We know you've been the one feeding them. It's really sweet that you want to take care of all the little creatures, Bon Bon, but but please, please stop feeding them. There's just so many of them now, and now they're trying to get inside the school, and and one of them bit Mark, and... uh, Just please stop, okay? I promise we'll figure something out, but in the meantime, just stop. Okay. Thanks. The first debate team competition of the year is being held tonight. The debate team, alongside the members of the student government, have poured over your suggestions for debate topics and have compiled their votes. And so the topic of tonight's debate will be, drumroll please, Daylight Savings Time. Yay or nay? Do we keep the classic spring forward fall back institution that has been held as a standard for years so that farmers can get up at the crack of dawn to toil away in the fields? Or do we just deal with the darkness of a possibly endless winter closing in on us without trying to fool ourselves that it isn't quite as bad as it appears? Priya's team will be arguing the nay position and is arguing that we do away with daylight savings time once and for all. And, ugh, Devon's team is arguing to keep it for some reason. It's sure to be a rousing debate, so don't forget to come down to the auditorium tonight to listen to the arguments and cast your vote. Remember, attendance and participation in the vote are both completely and totally mandatory. This week's cafeteria menu will be boxed macaroni and cheese, leftover pretzels, leftover chips, leftover bean dip, and leftover punch. Please come eat it before it gets too stale to be palatable, because, let's be honest, you're gonna have to keep eating it anyway. So just do it quick. Also, for a fresh option, Sid has kindly identified the trees out front as crabapple trees, and has confirmed that yes, they are edible. Small and hard and sour, but edible. We haven't actually seen Sid try any of them, so take from that what you will, but hey, free crab apples. And if no one dies of mysterious apple poisoning, it looks like we will be having crab apple based products for months to come. In other news, the microwave in the cafeteria is currently broken. Scotty thinks it can be fixed, but just a blanket reminder to all students here at North Murphy High, you are not to put metal in the microwave. On an unrelated note, Hans, you have added one week to your detention. We won't say why. And Sho, you also have added one week to your detention because we know you're the one who told him to do it. Thank you. In case you weren't at the dance last weekend, or in case you got into the punch a little too hard, a little too early, and missed the announcement, I'm happy to announce that this year's homecoming king and queen are Zachary and Presley. Which, let's be real, is probably for the best, considering Presley refused to give the crown she won last year to any other winner. So instead, she gets to keep it. So congrats to them, and yeah, happy homecoming, guys. I hope everyone had a good time at the dance.
from us here at the front office and from all of the students at North Murphy High, we'd like to say thanks again to Presley and Nada and all their little minions for putting together the homecoming dance. It all turned out beautiful. Oh, and Price, just FYI, you've added another two weeks to your detention for adding that extra bottle to the punch. Yeah, we saw that. And don't think for a second that we didn't notice that the bottle mysteriously wasn't on the list of items brought back from the field trip. When you have a chance, please report to the front office with a complete list of items collected during the field trip. Thank you! Just a reminder that science class has been cancelled for the remainder of the week, and that you are to report to study hall in either the cafeteria or the library during your allotted science class time. But just know that for the time being, the science classrooms will be closed. This cancellation is due to the fact that upon discovering the punch bowl at the homecoming dance this weekend, Sid loudly proclaimed, I can make it stronger, and then ran off. We've not heard from Sid directly, but passersby have heard quite a bit of maniacal laughing on the other side of the door to the lab, and then quickly followed by the sounds of vomiting. So all we can think is, due to the fact that Clarence is still missing, Sid is testing the product. And it's not going well. We would like to thank everyone for their patience during this time. We're hoping that soon Sid will get distracted by something shiny and we'll leave this project alone. But for the time being, thank you for your patience and enjoy study hall. And just remember if Sid walks up to you and tells you to drink this, the answer is always, always, always no. All right, it's time for the suggestion box. Let me just go grab it. Okay, the first suggestion is... Presley stuffed the ballot box so she could win again. <sighs> really, guys? Look, okay, first of all, this not this, this isn't even a suggestion. Second of all... Look, I'm not saying that Presley wouldn't stuff the ballot, because come on, we've all met Presley. She totally would. But Hannah is the one that both distributed and collected and counted the ballots. Do you really think that a stuffed ballot would have gotten by Hannah? Come on. If you really think that, I dare you, I dare you to come down and say that to Hannah's face. Just don't do it unless I'm in the room, okay? I desperately want to see that. If you're dumb enough to question Hannah's organizational skills, you're dumb enough to suffer the consequences. Right, Hannah? Hmm? What? Hannah says yes. And our next suggestion is... Have you noticed the children are gone? Okay. Once again, this is not a suggestion. Second of all, it's October. The children went missing in June. I don't think the question should be, have you noticed the children are gone? I think the question should be, why haven't you noticed the children are gone? It's been months. Do you live in your own little bubble? How did you not notice? The children are gone. As far as we can tell, they disappeared on the night of the apocalypse. Nobody has seen them since. We don't know where they went. That is why we've been using the elementary school as overflow classrooms. Okay? <sighs> What's next? And our next suggestion is... Horseshoes. Okay, that's it. That's it. I I've had enough. Between the nonsense that's been in there recently, plus the fact that the stupid horseshoe suggestion just never stops coming, we're going to try something new. One of the alternate ideas from student government was to read out motivational quotes and health and safety tips in lieu of the suggestion box. And you know what? I didn't want to do that because it sounded really dumb. But since you guys clearly can't be trusted with the amount of power you wield over the suggestion box, you're just going to have to sit there and listen to these instead. 
Maybe then you'll actually learn something. Today's motivational quote is, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time to plant a tree is now. And our health and safety tip, remember to drink eight glasses of water each and every day. Dehydration is no one's friend, especially after drinking all that punch. All right, it looks like that's it for the announcements today. Have a good day, North Murphy High. And remember, don't put anything metal in the microwave. And if Sid offers you anything to drink, always say no. Okay. Have a good day, North Murphy High. Murphy's End is a Hindsight Podcast production, and new episodes are released every Tuesday. Sammy is voiced by Sarah Eagleson. Hannah is voiced by Krista Seeley. And full credits for the episode can be found at our website, hindsightpodcast.com. While you're there, sign up for our mailing list for news and information about upcoming episodes. You can also find us on Twitter, at Murphy's End. And if you like the show, please leave us a rating review on Apple Podcasts or support us on Patreon. Remember, it's going to be a long year.